what is up everybody I actually went for a little ride yesterday and I uh, didn't really need to wear my helmet with the GoPro mounted on it so I went for my other helmet which is a three-quarter helmet with the full face shield and I forgot how comfortable it is to wear that helmet it doesn't go quite so far on the back of my head so there's a lot more ventilation going through I mean naturally because you know it's just not covering my head and then just the as, as good as the as the field of vision is on this helmet that I am wearing right now the field of vision on my three-quarter helmet is is it's it's like not wearing a helmet at all it's phenomenal and that's really that was one of the reasons why I bought the specific helmet because even sometimes when you have a three-quarter helmet you know it, it covers up your field of view a little bit but not this one so the two helmets that I own and if you've seen previous videos you've seen them my three-quarter is a shark nano and this helmet that I'm wearing right now is a full face and it's called the shark spartan and I love this helmet the one I'm wearing right now the full full face got both of these helmets and I'll put a link down below because I think it's worth uh, if you're in the market for a shark helmet to look these guys up it's called moto storm and they're a company based out of Italy and they for somehow they I don't know if it's because maybe shark is is manufactured in Europe but their prices are always considerably considerably lower even when you have to pay extra for shipping internationally it's still I think I saved like 75 bucks on this helmet um, whether you shop for it on Amazon or Revzilla it doesn't matter uh, Motostorm almost always beats them so yeah they're worth uh, checking out don't forget to hit the currency translator on their page because otherwise you'll be looking at it in euros and you'll think the price is even lower but still the prices are good so go ch go check them out definitely worth it so I bought both of my helmets there both shark helmets uh, and so happy with both of them but the sh getting back to what I loved about the the nano is how comfortable it is and the field of view is is it's just uh, so ideal the big thing for me is, is safety and my, especially for my wife she didn't really like it when I wore the three-quarter and she's definitely happier, not, happier now that I'm wearing uh, the full face most of the time uh, but for quick jaunts around town I always used to just wear the three-quarter because of the field of view and for, to me I feel safer because of, I, I, I feel like I don't have any blind spots but again the shark Spartan the one that I'm wearing right now is definitely one of the best field of view helmets for full face I think that you can get and if you look at if you go onto forums you'll find out uh, I think that there are others that might do well as far as field of view but this this shark helmets are, are among the best as far as uh, that category goes and when you're looking for a helmet you always got to think safety but at the same time you know you, you've got to be if you ride every day and you ride uh, especially in like warm weather when your head's sweating a lot I think all of the, all of that residue and all that's the, the moisture and stuff is, is breaking your helmet down and you probably should be switching out your helmet and I don't know what the the actual number is on this I think that uh, DOT and probably DMV will has a, an actual number like they want you to switch it out every couple years or every three years but I think it is every three to five years that you should be getting a new helmet and if you're right every day probably probably more than that I am here to and I, obviously I'm not getting paid by anyone but I am here to definitely throw my recommendation out for shark helmets they're comfortable they're they have great features like this helmet has a drop down visor it has uh, two open and closed vents one in the front uh, uh, in the face and then one on top uh, removable washable pads it has the uh, a space for you to, to add a Bluetooth if you want to uh, it has a chin curtain that you can retract so that it doesn't get in the way when you take your helmet off I mean this, this the Spartan has so many features and for the price I think it's for bang for the buck it m might be the, one of the best helmets out there that, that you can get uh, and I, now again if you're going for, for a full featured helmet and you have no no budget and your disposable income is you know <laughs> infinite or whatever then obviously you can get a, a better helmet but if you're on a budget uh, definitely look up shark helmets for one 
and also definitely look up MotoStorm. And again, I'll leave the, the, the link to their website uh, down in the description. Uh, so let me know what you guys are wearing. And if there's a better helmet you guys think out there that's a better value and maybe has good, really good features. Uh, and also, I mean, I mean there's, there's a bunch of guys out there that, that review helmets. RevZilla is really good actually at reviewing the helmets uh, that they sell. So definitely would recommend that. Also, uh, there's a Fort 9. They do a really good job. With Fort 9 though, they kind of get artsy about their reviews and their bike reviews and stuff. And to me, it's kind of like, I just want to, you know, I, I want the data, so just give it to me. So anyway, uh, some good resources for you in this video. And also, uh, put, put what you're wearing and, and what your feelings are on helmets down in the comments to share with everybody else. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button for past and future content. Guys, if you're riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, be good. I won't be seeing you, but you will be seeing me later. This is that one guy who stops for children. <laughs> and I'm out.